guys in today's video we will see how we're gonna build an API REST API using Merge Connect especially we're gonna get a list of patients from a MySQL database so let's start let's create our channel let's name it for example REST API save it in the source we're gonna pick the HTTP listener connector which allow us to listen to an HTTP request in this port. Let's, for example, change it to 730. Select this, the first destination by default as a response for this HTTP listener, which means the return of the destination one, it will be the response of the API request. The XML body parse the request to an XML object. We're gonna include the metadata. Otherwise, we will not be able to get the metadata for example, the parameters, the request headers, etc. For the response content type, put here dynamic parameter. Let's name it response content type. The idea here is to dynamically put a value in this parameter in the destinations while processing the data. Same thing for the response code. For the base context path, let's put slash patient which means that we are, we are going to get the patient's list. Okay, let's save. For the destinations, we are going to get the list of patients from MySQL database and return it as a JSON object to the HTTP listener. Let's pick JavaScript writer. We're gonna open a connection with the MySQL database and execute a select query to get the patient's list. We have in Merge Connect in the Edit Transformer a template that generates a MySQL select query with the whole connection. Let's look for database query, perform database query. To copy, let's create, for example, a new step just to, just to get the content of the template. Okay, great. For the driver, we're gonna change it with MySQL driver, like so. For the address, we're gonna change it with a MySQL template, connection template. Of course, we're gonna change the, our database. Our database, as always, my database. Also, our port, MySQL port, localhost. And for username, we're gonna change it on as I'm gonna change it as well. Let's keep it simple and get all the list of the patients. And we have in the database three patients exactly. Okay, let's copy this query. We we don't need this step, so let's uh, remove it. Let's pass the template. Let's create a variable that will contain patients array. And this array be filled while iterating the result. Using next function. So patients array will contain objects such as name and the value, for example, John. Let's get the first name. I'm using function get string and specify the key of the column as it exists in the database. Okay, same thing for the last name, for example. And same thing for the date of birth. We have the date of birth, date of birth, it's the key of the column. Let's construct our object. which is exactly patient object. First name, it will have the value first name. 
same thing for the last name and date of birth. Let's, for example, choose the key date of birth. This key, it will appear in our JSON object. So we, have, we are free to name it as we want. Okay, now let's push this element in the patient's array. Okay, return the patient's array. We need to return it as a string. So let's use json.stringify. Okay, let's add a catch here in case of error or exception. And return in case of an exception, let's return an empty array and log something just to debug. Okay, now let's save and deploy our channel. So our channel is listening in the port 730. So using Postman, let's send a query to localhost 730 slash patients. Okay, so we have our response here. And as you see, it's not a JSON format. And to convert it to JSON, it's very simple. Let's turn back to our channel. And in the summary, let's set a data type here we need to convert all the outbound to JSON format and we need as well to set the response content type let's go back to our destination and put the value application slash JSON which is the format that we want to return in the channel map in exactly response content type like so so the value response content type will put the value application slash json same thing for the response code http code response code for the sake of the example, let's put 300. Let's deploy now. Send again. So we have the JSON format working just fine. And we have the response code, HTTP response code 300. Okay, that's it for this video. Let's continue explore more Merce Connect in next videos. Thank you for watching. <laughs>